Thanks for tuning in. Um, today we're going to talk about non-electric carbonators. Uh, we get a lot of requests about this. It's a very common system and it's an alternate path uh, as opposed to using an electric carbonator like a Big Mac in a soda system. You can make seltzer water without any electricity and you can use it in venues where you're, you're remote. Very simple operation. I have my canister. It has a quick release lid. This is currently filled up with five gallons of plain water, just kind of room temperature. And I have an input and output. On my input, there's a stainless steel line that goes down here and there's a ceramic diffuser. So if this is full of water and I inject CO2 gas in here, it will diffuse through from bottom to top and very efficiently make seltzer water. We're gonna demonstrate it in real time. So I have a CO2 tank, quick release, click it in place. I'm gonna open up my CO2 tank at 100 PSI. It has a pressure relief valve for safety and you're gonna hear it inject gas. It's very loud initially. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's churning, churning, churning. And I can just feel it rumbling right now inside of it. So if you were to wait, say as short as 10 minutes and then remove this, you'd have a decently carbonated canister. Now it is better to run it as long as you have time, maybe 30 minutes or more is a, is a good amount of time. I can still feel it churning, but what you'll find is it very quickly carbonates. So. If I have a canister of seltzer water, I could use this for a seltzer dispenser, or I could combine it with a non-electric syrup pump and have a non-electric soda system as well. Um, so let me demonstrate already. Now this is my output. It's all quick release connections. If I was to snap on my out connection, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my seltzer water into my cold plate. So I have a uh, two pass cold plate here and we're looping it through two times. The cold plate is just an aluminum block with stainless steel lines submerged in ice and icing water and that's my heat transfer method. So I still have the gas on but I could also take it off. I'm going to demonstrate. So here's my basic dispenser. Could be a tower, soda gun, could be a draft arm. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's fully carbonated. Now, obviously this was very quick. The longer we run this, the more carbonated it will get. And also, you definitely want to run your seltzer water through a cold plate or chilling device in order to maintain the carbonation level. Now, it's still carbonating. I'm going to pour this out. You can also, very easy and efficiently, transfer it to another vessel. I can take an empty corny keg or Cornelius keg. This is what we used to use in premix systems. And I can come out of my non-electric carbonator into, into my empty Cornelius keg. And obviously what's gonna happen is it's gonna immediately transfer vessels. So I don't know if that's rendering too, if you can hear that. But basically I'm transferring the liquid. And if I wait about four to five minutes, the entire volume will be transferred. I'm gonna wait about 30 seconds, get it to about halfway, and then we'll demonstrate what this can do. Why would you do this, right? So this allows you to make your seltzer water because of the diffuser and the design. This allows you to transport your seltzer water. So if you're out in a venue, you could have two locations and you can bring seltzer water for a point of use. So we'll let it run just a little bit longer. somewhere about here already. And even if I was, again, to take the pressure off, it's still going to transfer because I have a high pressure to a low pressure transfer. I'm gonna leave it on there just to keep it moving quicker. So somewhere in here, just a little bit longer. Okay, so for demonstration purposes, that's good enough. So if I take out my fill, disconnect, what I have now is a vessel of seltzer water. And just like I did before, I can go to my output, click this on. So now you're at your location and you wanna have seltzer or soda, right? So you can match this up with a non-electric syrup pump and have a soda system. And then you can see coming out carbonated. Very simple system.
Very efficient, very uh, easy way to have seltzer when you don't have electricity. One more point of interest is a canister that we filled up oh, about two weeks ago, I guess it was. And it still is Oop. carbonated. Very well carbonated. So non-electric carbonator system, very handy when you're trying to have soda in a remote location. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that was easy to understand. Uh, we are sodadispenserdepot.com uh, and we sell everything you need for soda fountain equipment. Thanks for tuning in.